Right, just loading up now. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. All right, sorry. Two seconds, I'm just gonna have a, I'm just gonna have a, I drink a lot of coffee. I love coffee. Do you like coffee? <laughs> yes, I do. I love coffee. Me and coffee are like five. How many? I have maybe five cups a day. What do you have? Wow, I only have one cup a day. Yeah, I don't think you're as crazy oh, as I am. Yeah. <laughs> All right, honestly, good. Okay, cool. Right, let's get started. So the first one here, we've got Playmobil cows and cow girl. Buy for seven pounds, sell for fifteen ninety eight. Cool. And then we've got here. Obviously, it's the Playmobil store. So. Let's just have a look at this. Let's let's load up this deal now. Okay, so we've got fifteen ninety eight here. I'm happy with that. And I just want to check buy price. You said seven pounds. And let's have a quick look. Seven pounds. Great. That's great. So okay, so seven pound fifteen ninety eight. I like the look of that. That's good. We've got a few sales on the calculator. I like that. So quick question for you. This deal. You know, why did you like this deal? What what interested you about that? I like the deal because it has a good profit. Its profit is more than three pound, and also it has a good ROI. And there are a lot of movements in the Kipa graph, so I think it's selling good also. Fantastic, cool. Okay, really good, really good. Thank you. I like I like the analysis. Very good. So let's just come through profit. Three pound forty. I like three pound forty. That is good. And look at that ROI. That is a good ROI. Forty eight fifty seven. Definitely where we want to be. You know, if I just recap, three pound profit, thirty percent ROI. That's where we're aiming for. Definitely hit that. I'm happy with that. Also, as well, I can see the sales here. I can see. Unfortunately, I'm not logged in at the moment, but I know I can sell this product. So eligibility to sell and has that not a problem. So let's just kind of scroll down and have a look at the keeper chart. So coming down here, looking at the keeper chart, what can I see? Well, I can certainly see sales. So I tell you what, I'm going to do. I'm going to get my drawing tool because. I like to draw or annotate on my graph, so bear with me. So what can I see? Well, I can see definitely sales, and I'm looking at this green line. So what am I really looking for? I'm looking for the drop, so one. I'm gonna question that one, I don't think it is. Oh no, uh, yeah, I don't think, oh, it is a bit weird. Okay, let's call it two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, cool. Okay, three months, 12 deals. So definitely selling, but three months, 12 deals, if you divide that by, it's gonna be about four a month, would you say? Four sales per month? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. So, okay, so I don't yes. mind four sales per month. Um, the only thing which I can just see is, if can you see down here, this blue line, this is the new seller count. And what I can see is it's kind of trending up. So what does this mean? It means there's like lots of sellers. Um, so definitely it's selling, but the number of sellers has increased and right now it's quite a lot of sellers, 10. So what does that mean? It means a lot of them are like, should we say they are competing, competing against, you know, they're all competing with one another to try and get some of those four sales per month. So good profit, good ROI. I just think the number of sales per month of four over the 10 competition probably not really going to work out for me. I just don't think we are going to get enough sales. You know, we might sell one product every two months if you shared them. So I'd probably just say on this one, good profit, good ROI, I really like that, but I'm just going to pass on the sales a month. Okay? Yeah, I didn't know this. That's, That's fine. Hey, this is why it's here. We're, you know, we're here, we're looking at them, we're just giving feedback, but you know, good profit, good ROI, I really like that. Okay, so next one here, we've got a Disney car. Disney cars, buy for $3.99, sell for $13.48. Okay, interesting. I like the ROI on this one. Quick question for you while it's loading, just, just tell me a bit about the deal. Why did you like this deal? I like this deal because it has still good profit and also good ROI. And I think its graph now is better than the other one. Cool, okay, fantastic. So interesting enough, it's not showing as many sales up there, but I will look at the graph. That's the one thing I care about, I'm more than the sales up there. So the graph always number one. So 3.99, so profit and ROI, four pound profit, love a good four pound profit, and 101% ROI, that is amazing. If 
find 100% ROI with over three pound profit, I am a happy, happy man, honestly. So top work on the profit and ROI there. Obviously kind of like Disney, I like Disney, that's good. And it's quite a small item. I like that, I quite, you know, here 0.7 kilograms, I like small items, that's really good. Toys and games, I like toys and games as well. Let's come down to that graph. Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, so let's, again, let me get my drawing tools out because I love drawing. Let's just have a quick look through this graph again. What am I seeing? One, two, you know what? I'm just gonna go for this month. Let's just do the last month. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. And go back a bit further, nine. Okay, nine sales per month. Now, the one thing which I will say is, wow, you know, this has got double the sales in the last month. So we're gonna say nine there. But the one thing which I will say is obviously, if you look at the number of new sellers, it's coming up, but also now it's coming down. What does that mean? It means the competition's thinning out. So there's nine sales a month, double what we had on the last one. And there's 10 sellers now. That is one sale per person. But you know what? I might be able to get a couple of sales in there, but it is a good profit and good ROI. So I might just buy three, see how it goes. Happy with that? Does it, yes, if I quickly just ask you what I'm saying on the graph here, do you understand that? Does that make sense? So I'm talking about the sellers going up and then the sellers coming down again. And I like that because yes, I like sir. the down. Yes, sir. Cool, fantastic. Right, good. So yeah, three on that, happy days. Let's go check and go thing. Oh no, did you notice it's out of stock? I didn't notice that, sir, because I was focused on the profit and the ROI and the good job. Time. Okay, I'm that's sorry. cool. Hey, no, 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 honestly, don't worry, don't worry. Look, I think for you, one of the big things to think about is, you know, here you can see it says click and collect in stock. I get that, that's fine. So you probably looked at that and said, not a problem. Look, top tip for you that I wanna share is when you find a deal that you like, you know, like this one, it's got sales, it's got really good ROI, you know, good profit, happy, happy, happy. Top tip, come back to the supplier put, you know, put 10 in a basket. Can you add 10 to a basket? And can you get them in the basket? Because if you can, then good, that means we can buy the deal and then submit it through the deal sheet. Happy with that? No, then Cool, fantastic. But hey, look, really good deal. Really, really good deal. I'm really happy with that. Just the, um, just check the basket, make sure we can actually buy the product. Cool, let's move on, next one. Right, cool. So next one here, we've got a ladybug hat, noir figure, a bit of French there. Uh, £7.50, sell for £18.95, that's good. £5.35, nice ROI again, £31.55. Let's load this product up. Um, I like this deal, sir, because although the Amazon is a seller or the Amazon currently has a buy box, it, it currently doesn't have stocks, so the customers might be, there is a chance that they will buy directly from us because Amazon didn't have stocks yet. And so, yeah. Okay. And about the prices, <laughs> the, it's 9.99 on the buy box, but that price is the price from the Amazon. So I didn't use the price, but I used the price of an FBA seller who has lower price and I lower it I lowered our price a little bit so maybe to increase the chances that the customer will buy from from us okay okay fine fantastic so let's have a quick look through now so first things first coming in do you know do you know what I'm seeing straight away I'm looking at this 197 to 208 sales. That's like, oh, oh my God, I'm gonna have to remortgage the house to buy enough of this. That is like, that is a crazy amount of sales. I love that, that is like amazing. Like, honestly, it is like, that is a great sales. I love that. And you know, I come over here, sales rank 5,500 in Toys and Games, epic. You know, really, really good. I love that, that is, you know, if you can find more of that sales rank, fantastic. So let's just have a quick look down. So let's have a quick look. So if I come back, what are we saying here? We're saying buy for £7.50, sell for £18.95. So let's just put that in now, £7.50, £18.95. Cool, okay, so we've got £5.35 
35 profit and 71.33. So really good profit. And I'm just gonna, let's go down and have a quick look at the keeper chart. So like, you know, we've done the analysis already. You know, we, had, we already know this product sales and I can see the green line that is definitely saying sales. So voila, that is really good. And I just wanna say top sales, I love those sales. But quick question for you, I'm just kind of coming back here and I can see like, obviously you've put on the sheet here, 1895. And if I kind of have a quick yeah. look, it says here like buy new 999 and up here 999. And obviously you said 1895, like why did you use 1895? Why not 999? Because uh, as you can see at the bottom part, sir. Bottom part? Uh, Sorry, where? Scroll down. Scroll down. <laughs> as you can see, sir, it says that in stock on September 18, 2020. So, so the Amazon has the buy price now. Its price is 9.99, but it doesn't have its stock right stocks right now. So. I use the buy price of another FBA seller, which is the 18.95. So to reach the, to have a good profit and a good ROI, because since Amazon didn't have the buy price now, maybe the buy box now, maybe we can, maybe the customers will buy from us at uh, this price. I just tried if it will work. Okay, fine. So if I, if I just clarify, and I just want to make sure I understand correctly. Right now, the price on display is $9.99. But because Amazon's out of stock or they're in stock on the 18th of September, you've, you've looked at, is it the Keeper chart? Is that right? Yes. Cool. So you looked at the Keeper chart and you found a price previously that's been on sale for and use that price instead. Is that right? Cool. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Well, look. You know, thanks for sharing. Really good. I think. Look. You know. Just on reflection. And let me. Let me do this. What am I looking at? So I understand what you've done. You know. You've come in and you've basically taken, like, this price here. Use that price as the buy box price, which I understand. And you know, I'm not against looking at the keeper chart. And do you know, what I really like the fact that you're doing that analysis on the keeper chart. You're looking at things. The the only concern I just have is the fact that. Um, 990, you know, Amazon are out of stock, you know, right now. They are coming in stock quite soon. And I just question if we can get stock in before they can and obviously make sales. But then the only other thing I'd say is I'm not against what you're saying. Like, I think it's been you know, it's really good, like going, hey, maybe people want to buy and there's another price. But I'd probably just say the price that you're estimating on is a little bit high. So how would I do that if I'm doing the same tactic as you? Well, I'll, say I'll take the buy box price here and I'd just kind of draw a line as like an, an average across that buy box. I know it's not really a great average. There you go. And then I'd probably take it on that buy box average price, which, you know, I'm just going to kind of scroll over and just say, you know, if you call it like £10. So, you know, for simplicity stakes, so say I would use the £10 figure as my, my guide. I wouldn't go back and use the the last person. It's not to say what you've done is bad, it's just to say that I think maybe that price is a little bit high based on the historic selling price. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool, fantastic. But hey, look, I will just share with you really good sales. I really like those sales. And if you can find more deals without sales, and hey, if you can get the same profit in ROI, I will fly out to the Philippines and come and like say, tick, tick, tick. so honestly, top, top work. Just you know, a few areas to tweak on, but I really like some of the thought processes that you've done have had such an impact. So on that one, I would just say no as well, just because it's got a few things, but I think really interesting. So let me finish sharing. Now, obviously, you know, so I just want to recap. So I, what I've seen today is some really good ROIs, you know, sell, you know, ROIs like profit and sales, that's really good. Um, I think we just also need to think about you know, a couple of top takeaways. Number one, um, always be checking the keeper graph, look into more detail. Uh, number two is um, add things into the basket. If you can get 10 in the basket, you know, do that basket check. That's the final check before you submit the deal. And then I think number three is really good analysis of that keeper where you did the, the price, but just make it a bit more of an average. You know, that's an average. But 
I'm really, I really like some of the things that you've done. You've got some good profits and ROIs in there. You've got some amazing sales, you know, per month. I really like that. Um, you know, the stores are good, and also it's the right kind of products. They're not big, they're small, they're meeting our criteria. So, you know, really good there. Um, you know, just a few areas to work on, and obviously I look forward to seeing you know tomorrow. So. While we're on tomorrow, um, you know, what's your plan? You know, what what's your plan for tomorrow? How are you going to tackle sourcing? I will make sure to check if the the items are in stock and it's not out of stock. And I'll try to source more to toys. I'll focus on toys more so since it's almost Christmas time. Okay, fine, cool, fantastic. Hey, really good, really good. So I look forward to uh, sitting down with you tomorrow, same time tomorrow, and we will go through the deal, do the deal analysis again. Um, obviously some really good takeaways today. I like some of the action points, you know, the, the areas you've covered. Let's Tomorrow, let's go away, let's get out there again, smash it and see what amazing deals you can bring back. Happy? Cool. Thank you so much, sir, for the learnings, and I'll try to I'll try my best to be better tomorrow. Fantastic. Honestly, you still keep being amazing. Honestly, keep going. Right. Take care. Stay safe, and I will speak again tomorrow. Cool. Thank you, sir. You too. Bye. Bye.